there is an abundance of footage online of directors from Tarantino to James Cameron to Spike Lee talking about how if you're really into filmmaking, you should just go ahead and use whatever you have. Sean Baker took it to the next level when he made an entire movie on his phone. Many people, you know, when I when I mentioned it for the first time to some of my producers, you know, all the eyebrows were being raised. I mean, I I even had to con I was trying to talk myself out of it, to tell you the truth. I, I um, and once I convinced myself, then I had to convince the rest of the crew. But we did it by doing tests. We, we shot a lot of tests. And um, at one point, Technicolor was nice enough to allow us to bring some footage over there and blow it up on the big screen to present it to our financiers and our producers and just know that this thing would hold resolution, look presentable on the big screen. It's easy for beginner filmmakers to disregard this advice of using what you have to make a movie, especially when that advice comes from people who have access to sets, A-list actors, and crazy budgets. But prior to making Tangerine, Sean had already made four feature films. Tangerine was kind of a step back, if you take in the fact that he was already using big cameras and big lights and pretty established actors. His most recent movie, Starlet, made 150000 at the box office and was well received by film critics. If you asked me while I was making Starlet if I would be shooting the next film on an iPhone, I would be outraged. I would, you know, there'd be no way in the world I would have considered it. It actually, the whole reason that this came about is, um, Tangerine in general, is because uh, for a year and a half after Starlet, I was waiting for a much bigger budget film to happen. And it was a completely different subject matter. And it was a full script that was ready to go that we were looking for a cast for. But it's very hard to get cast without financing. And it's very hard to get financing without cast. So we were in this terrible cycle that kept going on for about a year and a half until the point where I knew I had to make something. Uh, or I would just be sitting around for the rest of my life. Principal photography began in December of 2013. Radium Chung was hired as a director of photography. Him and Sean were basically the only two people behind the cameras. They were the entire crew. At that time, the latest phone on the market was the 5S. Although the movie came out in 2015, meaning that by the time the movie came out, the phones they were using were already outdated. Contrary to what people believe, Sean didn't just use an iPhone. He had gear for the iPhone that helped augment the visuals. Maybe not to the point where it was as fake as those like iPhone ads, but he did have a little bit of special gear to help him. They used anamorphic lenses and had the filmic app to have more control over the camera, controlling things like room temperature, ISO, and aperture. At that time, there was this... Uh prototype that was ready to it was a, 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 a this company company called Moondock Labs they were they right. were having a Kickstarter campaign to, to to make this anamorphic adapter it's only like this big and goes right on the phone and it wasn't shipped yet it wasn't available yet but uh, Sean uh, my director and co-DP um, reached them reach out to them and uh, uh, told them about our project and they were very supportive so they gave us the three prototypes they have and, and that's how we shot it and it's, it's really amazing it's really this big and it's a real you know anamorphic shape uh, lens that goes right over the phone. Yeah, there was an app on it uh, called Filmic Pro. Uh, what it does is, is it just let, allow you to lock your, right, your three exposure. Yeah, yeah, exposure, yeah. color temperature and focus. It just locks it and then you roll. The funny thing about all of this is that even though Sean managed to cut down on costs by having less crew and he had a free location, the budget was still $100,000. I don't understand how I tried to look where that budget went, but I didn't find anything. Tangerine might not be a box office hit, but it made close to 1 million at the box office. It was a success with critics and audiences and gave a lot of exposure to Sean Baker as a more than capable filmmaker, inspiring a whole generation of bedroom filmmakers. I just wonder if that was a once in a while thing or will phone films become a legitimate way that filmmakers will make their debut. The same way older filmmakers got their stars from making movies with 8mm or 16mm film cameras.